Blog Talk Radio. We welcome the night. Heart, heart warming. 
forming spree of getting eggs and going to the library and biting her granddaughter. And then it's just a weird little quirky movie, um, to say the least. And this is one of those films where it's sort of the way we put it. I know you might get this in when I say it's like an introductory film. We bring this up every now and then. It's just one of those films that's just like an, a soft, you know, soft-hearted, uh, sort of meaningful message-related film, almost like Christian-like, you know, church group-esque, where, like, there's a message behind everything, um, where, like, there, there's good intentions with the film. Um, it might not be the best made or looks the greatest, but there's a heart, you know, sensibilities of what they wanted to achieve with it, and they d- did the best they could have with everything. And it's also like a, I was reading up on it, it's like a kick, well, no, when the credits were coming through, it's like it's a Kickstarter film. So people pledged money towards this thing. So it's like, it, it felt like a group effort, you know, another thing that we say, it's like a family offering where it's like a you know a, a group of people come together in a family and they want to make this sort of a heartwarming project uh for the community and it it definitely has that because it's it's not the the best well acted I will say that um it's very wooden at parts um a lot yeah. of it's very and it's it's very you know like I said hokey and quirky so it has that you know, low budget charm to it. Um, like I said, it's not the greatest thing, and it's not the the the, the worst thing. But it's right there. It's sufficient. It's adequate, and it's not te- terribly a bad film. It's not. I mean, there's a lot of things that hinders it. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it, it kind of harkens back to those like early thousands. Um, even though this is a Thanksgiving movie, but I'm going the Halloween aspect, like those made-for-television special for Halloween. I'm thinking, like, under wraps, when good ghouls go bad, sort of like Halloween yeah. Town, even though I've never seen that one. But it's just, like, sort of falls along those lines. Um, and it's trying to do humor, even though, like, the humor doesn't work for me as a 30-year-old as it would for, say, a 10-year-old, because um, it's very on-the-nose. Um, I'm thinking, you know, maybe like an Ernest film, even though Ernest films are, you know, I can see a little bit like an Ernest scared stupid sort of thing. Um, oh, 100%. With what they're trying to go for. Um, but, Just again, it's not any a Ernest. terrible movie. Um, but, like, they, they try. They're ha- sort of having fun with it. But, like I said, like, the humor doesn't work when you're, you know, my age. But it's still not, as a horror film, it, it's not there. But as a film with a message and a point, with families coming together and bonding aspect and trying to, you know, come together, yeah, it has that that works for it. Um, but again, it's like one of those introductory films where it's just like get the family together. Let's not get something too, cr- you know, crazy or anything like that. And this is one of those where it, it kind of fits that mold. You know, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing grotesque or violent it's quirky it's sort of comical even though i didn't you know i didn't see it that way um because it doesn't work but i can see it i, I see what they're going for um but yeah. again it just has that you know tv quality you know a, a, you know feel to it uh that vibe and it it doesn't it's it's not a bad watch. I mean, it's it's an hour and ten minutes. I mean, but it does kind of have some bad pacing issues because it's just kind of on to the next thing. Um, you know, you have like the 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 sister. She gets bitten by grandma and she turns into a werewolf. And then then that there, the, there's not that much werewolf aspect to the film. I mean, they they try to have like little fun quirky ideas. Um, but like I said. If I was younger, I might find that funny. But as an adult, I didn't really find it that intriguing. You know, like, oh, we got the wrong wrong book at the library. You know, how to, what, Mom's Guide to Yoga or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah I'm not I'm not really getting this. You know, it's just not, it's like, you know, if you, uh, 
your friends with like a preacher or something, and he's trying to do these jokes, and they're the most you know one dimensional. Like you can't get too vulgar, you know, because he's a preacher. You know, like it just had that feel like yeah. they're trying to do comedy, but they can't really push the envelope because they're you know it's a it's a you know Christian sort of based film. In in a sense, again, I don't I, I can't see that. I mean, they're trying to make it family friendly as best as they could. Yeah, and. Uh, it, it kind of has that aspect where, it's like, they can't really push the envelope as much as they want to, and I don't know if they're trying to, but, um, Ian, I'll let you talk your, your thoughts on the film, and then we'll go back and forth. One, I mean, even my wife commented on it because uh, she was sitting next to me playing on her phone. Uh, but she was like, this movie looks really nice for <laughs> what it's probably going to be. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no, like I thought the cinematography looked pretty nice for it, you know, for a low budget. I was like, hey, dang, they got a nice little camera. But, um, yes, th- I agree with you. The jokes did fall flat, and it was definitely something that uh, someone younger would have found funny. But I did, like, laugh on like off and on throughout the film just from how hard they were trying with the jokes and that the jokes themselves weren't funny but it was just like you know it was just comical of how they were trying to, and I, I was even thinking to myself I was like man this is like a fucking goosebumps uh movie or something similar like because this is, <laughs> it, it. I mean, it does have its little charm, and I do not hate myself for watching it. Uh, but I do love, like, when they were making weapons, they're like, we're going to have to send a great grandma. <laughs> and he was, like, like super smiley about it. Like, dang. <laughs> I was like, dang, you want to kill your mom that bad? <laughs> well, let's go get a fucking yeah, sword it- above. Your mom's bit like yeah, breaking to your that. mom's they, house. They do, they do, uh, <laughs> they do introduce a, like a fantasy aspect to it, where uh, their grandpa was a uh, sorcerer in a sense, or a gatekeeper, or some yeah. kind of thing, where he's able to do these spells. A magician, in a sense. well, I wouldn't say magician, but a spellcaster, and um, yeah, and so it, like when <laughs> like, he dies, now his grandma's a, a werewolf and they can't control it. So there's like that fantasy aspect where the dad Ben and the son are having to track down like the pages and become like like all this little kid kid friendly stuff. We got to find the sword, and then we got to find the book, and then like there's a um, <laughs> sort of a Karate Kid moment where like they go to a a, a master of the craft and like they learn like like psychic you know like um oh shit you know psychic powers tele- not tele- uh, tele- telepathy but um you know you can grab yeah. things with your mind like that and move objects um but yeah I didn't mean to cut you off again but like I needed to bring oh, that no, up sure. too you mentioned that like, oh, oh yeah, yeah there is and again that's like another thing with like humor for a younger audience it's just like oh cool you know and they don't and, but the thing I thought was funny is that they don't do anything with it like it goes nowhere no <laughs> like, I think I think like one time he used it in, to throw a lamp at his at his mom the dad threw the lamp at his mom and that was it <laughs> and that was pretty funny um and uh <laughs> when the F uh, the FBI going up into the room and she's just sitting there knitting and then like sneaks behind him like creepily. I was like, Okay, this is like that right there solidified. I was like, Yes. It's like a goosebump, scooby doo, like just off the wall shit. And the movie I mean, yeah, it was kind of like what well, what was the point of ninety percent of this movie other than to just like have a bonding experience? Because I get it, like you know, the dad, the son felt neglected from the dad, and it was all about finding something to bond over. And but I was like, what about the daughter? I was like, she. 
she was kind of neglected throughout the entire movie, <laughs> and then she became a, until she became a werewolf, and that I was like, dang, the grandma took forever to become a werewolf, and she just instantly turned into one. I was like, that's kind of weird, but I guess they had to, you know, speed the movie on a little bit. But yeah, there's a lot of know. stuff like that too, where they kind of just like gloss over, like throughout the whole movie, the sniper. Where he's going through there and he's doing his thing, and then at the end of it, like, oh, sorry, wrong house, and then, you know, it's just like, well, there's like no point. Well, there was a point. I mean, it's just a, a a red herring, honestly, because you go through that whole thing with him like being this big sort of hunter, this big, you know, crazed hunter that's hunting down a werewolf, and the, the joke in and of itself is like, oh, it's it's a joke, you know, like that's the thing. And like, the FBI oh, not that way. Yeah, and the FBI are bumbling idiots and. And the whole thing at the end, like oh, we're still gonna, you still gotta pay for those eggs. And like, come, come on, it's Thanksgiving, you know. It's like, let's. <laughs> and they eat a big old dinner, or for yeah. like in the morning. It's just, it was. I don't know. I thought it was funny, but I do have to say, this movie is. I would rather watch this than. Most of Louise's movies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, man, <laughs> like that just, oh, God. And you know, for what it was, it really did have like this like charm to it. It's not a bad film. It's not good in any sense, but this is definitely something you could, you know, because there's, like, what, no gore? You see blood, a little no. bit of blood here and there, but you don't see any, like, true gore. And so it's like, this is, I mean, you know, like you said, it's a good introductory film for kids. Something, like, especially, like, with the more, to get them into more, like, campier uh, movies because this was yeah. pretty, you know, camp-tastic. And, and here's another thing. <laughs> like, I was looking, because we don't really review that many werewolf movies, and now going back, I watched some no. other werewolf films that we reviewed on the show, and then I go back, we reviewed one called Desert Wolf, and the Matt, oh. the, that one was, that was a guy, you know, again, he did it all by himself. It was like a one-guy production. He directed it. But that, that film... Some major issues, and the and the werewolf was god awful. Um, the masks yeah. don't look that good in this one, but at least they tried to do something different. <laughs> you know, I mean, they look like the masks that the people in Trash Humpers wear, but it's like they put some hair and some things on it. But nonetheless, like, um, for, it's just like at least they tried with a mask as opposed to just putting some, you know, shaving off chest hair on a dude's face. I mean, it just. Ooh, Desert Wolf. Ooh. That, 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 that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. And this one, like, like, and he was trying. That's the thing. Like, he he tried to make a, a, a you know, a, a throwback monster movie. And, like, it felt like this one with Grandma Werewolf, like, they, they, they had fun with it. And, like, that's, it, like, it, it's not, like, the most entertaining. And it's, like, not fun fun, you know, like you, you would have, but it's like, it has a little quirky factor to it where it's not like, hey, it's fine. I mean, it's just, not, it's not terrible, you know, like, say, Desert Wolf right. has some issues with it. But, it's like, it's not like, it's like I said, it's like, for a younger audience, uh, well, we're going to repeat this numerous times because it's it's the truth. It's going to be okay and fun. It's going to be interesting. You're going to enjoy it. You know, like, you know, when you're you're watching, like, Are You Afraid of the Dark or Goosebumps. Like, I was, like, thinking, like, yeah, it's, it kind of has that haunted mask vibe to it, um, in a sense. <laughs> and, you know, that that's cheesy and it has all everything to it. But it has that, you know, made, you know, like TV special vibe to it. And that, that was a big thing, too, the haunted mask with Goosebumps come out. Um, everyone was oh, after yeah. that thing um, when that VHS came out. Uh, I remember going to Rite Aid. <laughs> it's like, I want the VHS of this. Um going to numerous ones trying to find it but uh yeah it has it, it, it's just it could be a little bit more fun um i will say that because yeah. it's kind of kind of straight laced and like i said hokey 
for being too straight laced and for like I said, that's that whole preacher, you know, analogy because like you can't go too off the line. You know, you have to go down a straight and narrow path. Um, and that's what they did. And um it, it, it they could have went a little bit more here and there, you know, like, like an earnest film, but they kinda just kept it straight and narrow and they it, it, it for what it is it's fine, like Ian said. It's like it's perfectly fine, um, for what it is. It's just you can't really go down doing too much crazy stuff. Um I mean they tried, but that's the thing where it comes into like the hokey introductory, you know, like trying to do uh, the cops being bumbling and talking about it's a werewolf and like you want to say that again and like oh you know or, yeah hit the hit the button or something or, you know on the the police scanner like it's a werewolf and like you want to say that you know you press the button all right we got it or something like that because he was all crazy and again the hunter being this big thing and then he's nothing so it's just like little little anecdotes here and there of just trying to be you know a family. Um, get together outing sort of thing where you can't do too much craziness, but the 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 they had fun with it making it, even though it doesn't really come across that as an older person watching it. Um, but for a younger viewer, I can see it being fun. Yeah, definitely. And you know, and I like that they didn't take themselves seriously. Like, you know. You could tell they actually, like, wanted to be there, had fun with it. They, you know, they're just being goofy. Uh, The acting was stiff. Uh, The dad kept smiling through most of his lines, even the serious ones. I was like, oh. I was like, man. Uh, But I was like, I had fun with it, you know, and. And it was nice to actually have fun with a movie that's <laughs> not good instead of wanting to bash my brains in. Mm-hmm. No, that's definitely yeah, the case yeah. here because, like, it, it's not high quality in the slightest. But they had fun making it. You can you can tell they put a, you know they put some effort into it, trying to make it the best they can. Even though if it doesn't really come across that on the screen for. A lot of people, but you gotta take it into a consideration that it's for, you know, like we said, an introductory sort of like, you know, a family film. And if you take that into consideration and you just look at everything as a whole, it kind of hits every note that it needs to do. Um, it, yeah. It, you know, it's like a freaking pop song from the '90s. It hits all the beats, and you have your little choruses and your uh, lines that come across. You know, you're not listening to no Cannibal Corpse, all right? You're not listening to little in, intricate bass tones and double basses and guitar riffs. And, yeah, you know, that this sludge. is definitely I mean, not this deep. Is, this, is, this is Britney Spears all the way, you know, <laughs> in the best but way possible, least, even though it's yeah. more. It, no, it's not Britney Spears. It's Creed, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible laugh. Yeah, uh, and, you know... And while it is very by the numbers, because you can't at have least nothing field. really. Yeah, and you know, you while crazy, it's by sorry. the numbers, <laughs> oh, you're fine. It's uh, like I can't like it, at least like everything. You know, they didn't just throw things in. You know, um, just you know, like just because, mo- like a lot, of, like it's not heavy. And uh, everything was explained. I thought, you know, and they took a minute or two to, you know, tell us what's going on and why. And I was like, you know, this is, we need to send this movie to Louise and be like, hey, if you're going to make a movie, you know, make it make sense. (laughs) And don't have, don't have your characters randomly switch on us, because at least you know with the werewolf, like when she was sitting knitting, because she was hiding from the FBI agent for some reason. Uh, that part didn't kind of make sense. And then they, when he was walking back down the stairs, and they were like creeping <laughs> down the stairs while he was walking, just talking. I was like, that is definitely like 
one of those old Or when like, they're old trying to escape the library and like apparently she doesn't want to go outside the door even though they were I being know. chased by her. <laughs> you know, there's there's a lot of yeah. little like what 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 happened here? What weren't they being chased? Now she just stopped for some reason. Like, oh. Uh. Well, I guess she wanted that book. <laughs> like, and 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 so like, because like stealing eggs instead of killing them, she stole eggs and just stole things and was just chaotic. And I was like, I like that because at least like, you know. It adds a different like element to this movie than other than just like your traditional werewolf movie, which you know like just by the numbers, you know, going out hunting people and ripping them apart, and then like some kind of teenage drama because that seems to be a all the movies, werewolf movies I've watched, a lot of them involve teenagers or college mm-hmm. students. Because <laughs> there's really no, but this is def- Werewolf films? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not, not a lot. Not, there used to be some there in the thousands. And like, yeah, no, and there's still only like a handful of okay ones. They're not all that great. I mean, the, the few main ones are again in the 80s and People say Ginger Snaps is fine, Dog Soldiers, it's fine. I mean, there's just, again, they don't, the ones, are just, because they rely too much on CG and bad effects. I mean, look at Desert Wolf. I mean, there's a reason. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I don't want to hark on the guy. I My think God. I blocked, like, you look honestly, at that, I blocked that movie out. Like, I remember us reviewing it, but I don't remember the movie, like, at all. Like, I remember hating it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And... But also, like, I was thinking, didn't we watch a, a werewolf movie where the guy's mother was a werewolf? And they, like, lived in an apartment? Or I'm just going crazy. No, that was, I could uh, have that we... that was Night Hell. That was Michael's film. Hmm. I think. No. Because that was, like, his he was Michael seeing Taylor visions Fritz of his did one. Yeah, yeah, that was not how. Uh, what I'm, where I'm trying to think, it was like an old. It was like a old, older movie. I, I don't know. I think I watched something, some werewolf movie, years ago. Oh, that was Mom. That was wasn't a, Mom. Yeah, I think so. Where yeah, the guy's we mother was mother like. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that kind of just made me think, like, that brought this movie. I was like, because I saw, you know, Grandma Werewolf, and I was sitting there thinking, I was like, Did, didn't we re- review a movie kind of like this? I was like, I know it's not this one, but, like, what, what? Like, it was, it's was it been driving me crazy. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I think it was think Mom. It, but, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, what? <sighs> like, but yeah, nothing, honestly, nothing yeah. Less, this one's. It's not that bad of a film if you take into consideration everything that we said. Um, if you're just going into this blind and you, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a little jarring um, if you're, you know, because you're expecting one thing. But if you go, like, again, we we review a lot and we watch, you know, again, I watch a lot <laughs> off the show. And so, again, like, taking into consideration, like, going into this, like, Grandma Werewolf, ooh, I don't have high expectations for this and then to come out kind of surprised that it wasn't terrible and it was like kind of charming in a few aspects even though it didn't kind of work in my what i would kind of expected it wasn't like yeah again, it's not the worst thing we ever reviewed um i mean that last month is terrible um so honestly <laughs> God, at the yeah. beginning of the show having something two films back to back being somewhat good <laughs> i mean even though they all both have their own faults and 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 strengths, um, it's it's still a pleasant surprise to come out, out with something like Grandma Werewolf. Oh, yeah. Expect actually a film that's not that bad, you know? Yeah, and I saw the because uh, I googled it because I was trying to see if that was the you know that movie that I was trying to think of, and I was like, that's no, not. But I was like, I saw the picture of the werewolves, and I was like, oh god. What are we about to watch? And, you know, like, 
So it's kind of like, I mean, this movie was, you know, slightly cringy for, you know, for, but it just was cringy in the way that, like, those TV movies were. And, mm-hmm. you know, like, so it, it wasn't bad. And, you know, um, it just, out of every, like, last month has made me nervous about watching movies. <laughs> I was like, because it's well, just not, like, like back to back to back of just awful. It was like a kind of almost decent movie, but like, eh. and then you know, yeah, it was like everything was like, eh. and then it was like you know, like that lower tier, and then you finally get one with like sort of like a, a chocolate, you know, that nougat filling, like you're going through like the box of candies because it was a grab bag, and like you get that one, you know, Hershey's Kisses, which was the haunting of the murder house, which is just plain, you know, that Tootsie Roll. And then you just get fucking shit Sunday <laughs> at the end of like a Jesus Christ uh, with Jack versus Lanterns. But yeah, having two that's somewhat decent for for November. Um, it was good to come back after that reprieve and do these back to back. And uh, I don't know, Ian, how uh, we're gonna do for December because there's some titles. Oh, I'm worried. That have shown up, and I'm telling you, man, we're in for a treat. We have. Possibly another werewolf film, um, but it's not a werewolf. Um, I'm looking. So. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be sort of the same thing, but it's just a, you know the, as this story, but it's gonna be Christmas themed. Um, but yeah, honestly, these two, you know, like derelicts and this, it's like again we we start one with our crazy depra- you know depravity of derelicts, and then we kind of went down the went down the rabbit hole in the children's area. So it's like, it's crazy sometimes where we, we, these films go to, like you have one that's, you know, you have fucking penis pump. And then you have this one where it's children (laughs) being as sweet as they can be trying to act. And it's like, wow, this is all total opposite end of the spectrum here for this. uh, (laughs) It's Thanksgiving marathon. And uh, like I said, we don't discriminate when it comes to horror films. So that's that's one thing that I've pride myself on doing as a horror fan is to watch everything because you never know. And again, like most people are going to look at this like you know when you first look at this like oh my god, grandma or werewolf, you know. Like Ian said, you look at the mask and you think like oh god, you know. It's just like a lot of things is just that uh, uh, reactionary, you know, like reaction, like guttural reaction, like oh god, you know. But then you come out like right. ah, it wasn't too that bad. You know, just like you never know when you go into these things. That's the thing with these marathons, you know, again, it's like you never know. And, uh, yeah, last month was a fucking hostile landmines everywhere. And we we hit every single one of them except one. Um, you know, we, we, we yeah, might have like... lost a, a limb, but we didn't die, <laughs> you know. But uh, we still hit <laughs> all the other ones. Like we just like, oh, God. <laughs> Um, so again, yeah. hopefully Christmas is a little bit more uh, forgiving. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> At least, like you know, how it used to go. Like out of uh, half of the movies we reviewed were good, and the other half were terrible. But last month, yeah, took but- the cake. Yeah, I hate like, that we have to hark back on October because, like, everyone, those listening, like, just move on with it. Like, we're trying to, but it's like PTSD, you know? You can't help yourself. You we, know, it's just like... They're, yeah. And the only thing we'll ever not is Louisa. Like, yeah. her movies are etched <laughs> into the show, and she did it herself. So... Yeah, and we're going to be reviewing making Louisa. movies. <laughs> And there's no doubt about that. We're going to be reviewing oh, her yeah. shit. You know, that's a staple. When she has a new one, um, even though we try, you know, like, oh, let's do one Louisa a month. I don't know if we can handle that, but I'm not, we might. I don't know. You know, just do the ones on the one, yeah. uh, the films we haven't got to talk about yet, because there's a few. But, it, you know, it's not too long until, you know, she'll be right around the corner, you know. 
<laughs> and Brand new I just love that. Yeah, and I love how that how that even came to be about. It was just like we were we. There was that one year where we did like themed marathons, and like she had conveniently had one movie of every theme that we had. And yeah. you're like, we went. We you're like, wait. You ended up going down the rabbit hole and like, oh shit, we've reviewed tons of her movies, and they were all the bad ones. <laughs> Well, like, besides Pagan Warrior, I mean, that one wasn't too bad. That was her best. It's still her best film, Pagan Warrior. But, like, yeah. for a so bad, it's good. I mean, Leprechauns, man, those are, God, that's something. Those are, Second oh, boy. was just way worse. And I didn't even yeah. see the top, <laughs> how bad the first one was. Yeah, well, the first one's sort of a so bad, it's good because of everything that's wrong with it. And then she just doubled down on that and just made it like, you know what? Fuck this. Let's go even further. And she's like, no, it didn't work. But nonetheless, we're harking on, on nothing now. So I think it's a good time to put an end to our Thanksgiving themed shows. Um, I thought it was a pretty good double feature marathon. Um, so yeah. I'm, I'm mistakenly uh, aware of my uh, surroundings for Christmas because Ian, once I list you those titles, you're going to be like, where are we going? You know, like, oh, my God. But nonetheless, I'm I want to thank you all scared. for listening. Yeah, well, trust me, there's there's, there's a couple. There's a couple I'm I'm worried about, <laughs> but I'm, I'm interested in them. I want to watch them because, like, like this, like, I want to know what happens. You know, I want to know the story that they're going to tell. I mean, is it going to be Leprechaun's freaking curse? <laughs> you know, or is it going to be fucking – grandma werewolf you know i don't know um i don't know if it's going to be charming or heartwarming or if it's going to be ice cream on the beach where it just ends in the shit joke i don't know i don't know so that's the point of these marathons because you just you you don't know what to expect i mean it's that's what you get but nonetheless uh we start our christmas marathon next week um and it's going to be a long one it's going to be a long one but uh ian I hope everything went well with your Thanksgiving, you and your family. Uh, everyone else listening, I hope everything went well for you and your families. Uh, we thank you for listening, and we Back will see you, you for our Christmas theme shows next time on Har and Out Oasis. Good night.